Okay. Anybody tired yet? I guess not. Okay. I guess the uh, rule uh, of more than two minutes uh, doesn't exist. Um, I'm trying to figure out what the difference between this, the person who does a session wrap-up is and summit closing remarks on the program. So I've been looking at that all afternoon, and, and I still haven't figured it out. So let me begin. Um, uh, as board chair at CEG, it's been a real privilege for us to be a uh, involved a participant and a sponsor. Um, and I think uh, we're providing you some drink tickets that I think are there. So I know that's an important part of your day. Um, Today's been a great example of taking an idea that's new, certainly new to our area, and making something really special happen. Um, a few, about a month or so ago, we were involved with National Grid in the two-day event. And I was there early in the morning of the first day, and there was just all this energy in the room. And I was there for the last hour of the second day, and there was just as much energy in the room. As I'm standing here and looking around, I don't see very many empty seats. So I think that's a great uh, barometer uh, of the success that we've had. The organizers did a great job. Um, amazing. The, the buzz around this was there's no way this will ever end on time. And uh, I think it's going to end pretty close to on time. So with 75 speakers, that's, that's, a, that's one heck of an accomplishment. Um, I think there was a lot of intimacy in the, uh, in the room, in the, the rooms today, uh, a lot of sharing whether people were new to the area or they were part of a large company or a small company. Um, I think uh, certainly um, we have to congratulate Dr. Jackson, James Spencer, and the Emergent Vent Ventures ecosystem for doing a really great job. So let's give them a round of applause. Okay, so at this is a point now we can ta all take a deep breath, and I just want to share a couple more things with you. Um, I found a quote um, that was actually written the year John Cavalier was born, 1857, and it was attributed to a man named Joseph Conrad, who somebody in this room knows who, they, who he is, I, I have no idea. Um, but it sort of paraphrased a little bit about today, and I think it says simply this, it's only those that do nothing that make no mistakes. And I think a lot of the speakers shared all the mistakes they'd made, all of the things that uh, they could have done better and the lessons learned. So what really happened today? A lot of love was shared. People met each other that ne never met each other before. We, we heard a lot about some success stories. Equally important, we heard about failures. Some are real obvious, and we had some really unsung heroes. Um, you know, one of my takeaways is the, sh is the sharing thing. And I guess that what's good for one is good for all really holds true. Um, so a lot of territory was covered. And just a couple last things. A theme that I uh, made a note of as I was listening was the importance of culture and how that is. And I think when Doug Hamlin shared with us his story a few minutes ago about his accent that he had when he was 23 years old and how his company supported him and gave him the laptop, um, that's a great lesson that we should all take away. Um, the other thing, the worst behaved person today was Rick DeRico because he got like flagged like 20 times and, and would not be quiet, so I don't want to fall into that same trap. Um, and I guess the most honest award was one that I'm very unfortunately I missed this morning. Um, but it was uh, uh, Tara who spoke. And I, I'll let you, those of you who are here share Tara's story with others, but I understand that she was definitely the most honest of all the speakers. So right now, as we move to close to the, today's event before James comes forward, um, I'm really happy that, uh, to, that we're able to be a part of it. Um, I think this region really empowers entrepreneur, to entrepreneurship, and today was a great example of it. And I did found one last quote, and that was from Henry Ford, and I think it's very important or very consistent with the message today. And it goes very simply, if I had asked my customers what they wanted, they would have just said, faster horses. So uh, thank you all. It's been a great pleasure for CEG and myself to be a part of today. And James, where are you? <laughs>